What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival of Old update video. So patch 252 has just recently dropped and with it has come a whole bunch of new features and dinos. And in this video we are going to be taking a look at the last new dino, the Moshops. And we're back. So this is the last but not least dino of the update and that is the Moshops or as I like to call it the extremely overweight Listo. Now wild male, wild male Moshops here says it is a passive tame so you have to put raw prime fish meat in last item slot to feed. But I am too lazy so force tame will work just the same. Access inventory there is nothing in here and apparently you can feed this guy pretty much anything. So remote use item maybe doesn't need that maybe Apparently he just eats things. Maybe they actually have to be edible things and all sorts of edible things. But this guy has a whole bunch of options and sort of explaining how this guy works is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be a pretty short video because there isn't much to him. So first let's get him to follow me over here. I want to see his sort of running speed or movement speed. He's moving quite slow. Oh, and there he goes running. He's like a little dog. Just pantsing after me, but some sort of things you need to get to know about the Moshops. Now, if you are in any sort of danger, you're fighting, I don't know, just say it's a Dodo, for example, or maybe even a Dilo, because Dilos do aggro against you, this guy here will not defend you. It will run away like a little bitch, because that is what the Moshops is. It's a, an afraid little skittish dino, and even when it's tamed and on your side, it will not attack you. It will not attack the creature that's attacking you, it will not defend you, it will run away because it's a little scaredy cat. Now there are quite a few unique abilities about the Moshops, and if I open up its inventory, you can take a look right away. View Harvesting Levels. So, a View Harvesting Levels. Basically, what this does is you can assign a certain, well, a specific sort of resource to the Moshops which you would like it to gather. So, for example, the Moshops, you can get it to gather a, a lot higher quantity of a specific resource than any other. Unfortunately, there is only this very limited selection here. So, you've got organic polymer, leech blood, rare mushrooms, rare flowers. Now these two I'd say they're kind of pointless and well if you have a mammoth they're pointless anyway because all you have to do is bring a mammoth to the swamp and you can get these two resources here like nothing. There's tons of mushrooms in the trees and the grassy areas around the swamps have loads of red flowers. Now raw prime fish meat is okay but raw prime meat is better. Um, so I definitely if this was my guy here. If I tamed this up on a survival sort of situation, I definitely set him to raw prime meat harvesting because that seems like the best one to go for. Or organic polymer. It depends sort of where you live. If I was living in a sort of snowy biome, then I'd definitely choose organic polymer because this is going to help me a lot in building the advanced materials in the game. There is also sap harvesting and leech blood harvesting. These two are pretty much just for fishing. Uh, sap doesn't have much uses and Leech blood is used for the antidote if you're infected or simply you just want to fish. Now you have all these little grouping options which I'll probably have to cover in a different video because it's going to be a total sort of mind fuck for me, it's going to destroy me. But just look at all these group options, I don't have time to go over all these right now. It's, you know, I, I got to get these videos out and edit them so we'll do that in another video at some point. Now, before I quickly end this video, let's just see if we can make this guy attack. Now, the Dotia does say, and it has been said on the wiki and everywhere else, that this guy will not defend me. So we're going to put that to the test. See if this little Moshops runs away. Apparently it does. The Dotia definitely, for a fact, states it does. And a few other people in other update videos have definitely stated it does as well. So if it doesn't, then that's not my fault. It's the game. <laughs> oh, is it actually attacking it? Let's take a look. No, it's running away. It, it's following me, but it's sort of running away. If I unwhistle it, yep, there you go. It's <laughs> it's running away. It does exactly as intended. You cannot get this. 
guy here to fight for you. It's just a running way, like a little pansy. It's like, no, oh, come back. It kind of looks like a pug in the terms of how they run. They run like a little small dog. It's kind of funny, sort of cute. But they're pretty much useless in terms of combat. So I'm gonna just sort of rape this raptor here, pick him up with my mego. It's time to die, my little friend. Ah, Chew him up. Like that. But unfortunately, stupid daytime, this guy is eating very slow. That's one less raptor to worry about. So now this guy can go back to sleep. You've done your work for today. Go to sleep. Good boy. Or good girl, even. Oh, very well done. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. My Mosh Ops has run away and. He is nowhere to be seen. Fatlista, where are you? There he is. He's finally decided to stop running away. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I just want to thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please do leave a like on the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Ark Survival Evolved content. I have done quite a few previous videos on all the other dinos within this patch. And I have got some other update news to come in the future. So please stay tuned and I'll see you all in the next video.